this is a dramatization of the true story of the final known killings of the most prolific and unique American serial killer of the 21st century. Wow, just wow. I'm at a I'm at a loss for words. I was not expecting Strange Darling to be, you know, that good, right? The trailer was pretty straightforward. It seemed like this guy was trying to kill this girl and, you know, she's a damsel in distress, but she'll probably end up being a strong female character and come back to to kill him and finish, you know, stop what he started and it was my gosh, was it so much more than that. I was so taken back. I was so at the edge of my seat. I was so floored by the way that this movie twisted and turned. I mean, it was definitely one hell of a roller coaster, and I would just first suggest everyone to watch it. Strange Darling was awesome, and for as much as the trailer like gives away, it did not ruin the plot at all. I mean, I was it was just so awesome, and I can't without really getting into it. There's no way getting around it, but you know of what the plot in the movie is about. But I would just suggest, regardless of how farther into this video you go, just go watch Strange Darling. You will not be disappointed wherever it's playing at. But so it stars. Uh, it's it's by director J T. Molner, right? And I, I don't think I don't know I don't know who he is and or what he's done so I, I mean it was coming in blind and as for the actors you know it has Willa Fitzgerald never not sure if I know who she is never heard of her name it sounds awesome and wild Willa Fitzgerald and uh, Kyle Gallner and Gallner has been in other things I mean I've seen him in things so I was like all right this looks cool he plays like a pretty good serial killing villain looked like carrying a shotgun you know shooting this chick I mean it seemed pretty cool right like it was just straightforward of like him being maybe a demon or something or like some type of supernatural shit i was expecting right and it's like nah nothing like that i mean oh my gosh i, I if anything i would say this movie is almost dare i say like an m night Shyamalan film but better <laughs> but so uh, willa plays this character only known as the lady right and kyle plays this character it's just this man taking this lady uh to a hotel right after the they were at the bar for some time it seems and they're having some drinks and they're about to go into the into the hotel and uh, get it on you know and it turns out that you know she is a, a, she is actually the serial killer right the whole trailer is like it just i, I was floored at the way that it, he wrote this story and it's told in chapters right it's told in six chapters they're all mismatched you know mixed around so the way the movie starts and you know goes through the chapters from you know middle to beginning to end you don't understand you know you're slowly understanding but you you don't know what where, where how exactly did they get to this point from this point you know what you're showing me now how is it that they got to this part beforehand because obviously it's in the future it's just it was fantastic but she turns out to be the actual serial killer because it starts out with this this, like whole thing about you know this serial killer that was killing people between 2018 and 2010 or 2018 and 2020 and so you're assuming it's the guy and it's like no it was actually the chick this lady known as the electric lady and she just you know kills guys that she takes to rooms and you know mutilates them and stuff and so she's like mutilating this guy actually and he turns out to be a cop and I don't know if he's like looking for her or by chance he ended up finding her or she found him, whatever, because they don't explain how they met at the bar or what led up to that, obviously, which is also why it's so good. But he, she and, you know, he ends up kind of one upping her, but she drugs him. So now this dude's like drugged up, like practically doing cocaine, trying to stay awake because she ends up giving him ketamine. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And so he's trying to stay awake and actually like shooting her, driving all wild, like actually trying to, you know, kill this chick from what you see earlier like that those are the scenes that they show and you're just kind of like what the hell is going on obviously this guy is crazy obviously this guy is a serial killer like he's gonna kill this chick and then you find out that you know he was drugged and that's the only way he's able to like keep his legs moving and keep himself like alive you know well not alive but more so than passing out <laughs> Uh, so he ends up following her and she ends up going into this house right these these really nice like just old couple right they're like hippies bikers uh and it turns out that they're just you know living their life so they end up taking her in because she ends up showing up all you know bloodied and bruised and one thing leads to another i'll just let you watch the movie for what happens in that house but he shows up and you know again she ends up 
one-upping him and it's just outrageous it's almost it, it's it reminded me of trap right because the way trap ends you're like oh my god he got away the way this movie ends i mean she kind of gets away <laughs> but he definitely doesn't make it and it's just like oh my gosh like i said the twists and turns of this movie were absolutely outrageous i was I, I enjoyed every minute of it. I was at the edge of my seat. I mean, I could not. Do, I, I was like I said, I was shocked. And the way that, like I said, the chapters are said are told out of order. It just it really made the movie. I mean, congratulations, JT. You did a fantastic job. I mean, this is what horror movies are supposed to be about. This is what psychological thrillers are supposed to be. You know, keeping you at the edge of your seat, making you know, making you wonder what's going to happen next, exceeding your expectations, and like proving you wrong. I mean, oh my gosh, like. I definitely will watch it again, and I would suggest everybody to go check it out. Strange Darling, like I said, if it's playing at any theater near you, just go watch it. Help out his budget, because I, I, I think this guy should definitely make more movies, or at least more psychological thrillers, and maybe even some horror. Like, I, <laughs> it's fantastic. Um, but this has been Ghost in the Craig. Thank you for tuning in, and I will catch you guys uh, in the next one. <laughs> Peace.